So uh, another container just arrived. This is T5 pre-facelift light. So 2003, 2009 version two headlights. Uh, anyway, anybody else had a Corona cut? Oh. Weirdo. Anyway, also while we're here. Then. Nice. Uh, at the end of this video, I'm gonna do a little clip just to show you what's coming up in the next few videos. So if you're not interested in headlights, skip to the end and we'll show you what's coming up next. So this is the point where we normally pull in a really sexy van and fit some headlights and show you how wonderful they can look. But with the whole coronavirus thing, we can't get a sexy van here. So we've just had to use this beast. So sorry about that. But you know the old saying, you can't polish a turd, but you can, what is it? Roll it in glitter. You can roll it in sexy headlights. We'll fit them now and show you the difference. So you'll notice when you take your headlights out of the box, they don't have the brackets on the bottom and your original ones you take out your van will have, but they'll be on the underside of the foam. They're just there. Now they just screw in to the bottom of the light, but you'll see that just copy exactly the same as the headlights you've taken out. You can use your original ones if you like, but there's new ones there to use. So that's both lights fitted. So we've fitted a chrome on this side and a black on this side, and we'll just take you through some close-ups and show you exactly how they work and what functions they have. First up, the chrome with no lights on. Now these seem to really suit silver vans. The van that we put put them on on the first sample set was silver, and they just looked really well. And there's the black one. Again, in the exact opposite, all black with the uh, clouded diffusers, so you, the dots aren't as visible. Same again over there. Now, as you'll, I'm sure you'll know, the early T5 doesn't have a DRL feature. So um, when you put the side light on, the light bar becomes the side light, and then the dip beam, and then the main beam, and then the indicator. So that's the chrome one. And then if we go over to the black one, so that's your side light, and the main beam, and then the indicator. So that shows you the difference between the black and the chrome. Like I said before, the chrome seems to work really well on silver vans and lots of people that have got bits, other bits of chrome detail in their van. The black, no doubt, will be the most popular because it always is on the all our versions of headlights. So T5s don't have a DRL, as previously mentioned, but um, as a Brucey bonus, uh, we are including a pack that allows you to add a DRL feature to your preface lift T5, and we'll just run you through how that works. So in the box with your new headlights will come the instructions on how to wire up the DRL power pack um, to give your pre-facelift T5 a DRL function. Uh, the instructions are there but we'll try and run you through quickly in the video how to do that. Okay so we'll show you how to fit the DRL power pack. Uh, now we're just going to fit it roughly in this because it won't be staying in but ideally you want to run all the, the cables nice and neatly but uh, for now we'll just do it for uh, illustration purposes and for the sake of the video. So the first thing to do is uh, take your fuse out of here. So next up uh, on the power pack, you'll see you have this little red DRL wire and you'll find the other end of this on the back of the headlights, the male and female connection there. So just connect those two up and then obviously repeat the same again on this side. Next, connect the battery negative to your battery. And then repeat the same again with the positive on the positive side of the battery. Then that's it installed. So then you want to tidy this up. It comes with fittings. You can you know you can attach this and put this out of the way and tidy all your cables and wire up and cable cable tight what you don't need. And that's it installed. And then we'll just show you how to set it up. Okay. So once that's all set up and neatly packed away, unlike our one, but get the gist. Uh, put the fuse in. The DRL will start to flash. It should flash 10 times so then wait for up to three minutes and it should flash again three times okay so that's the DRL uh, power box fitted now so if we just um, turn the engine on you'll see the DRL will come on after a few seconds you have to excuse the noise of the engine so they're both on now uh, and then if you go to side lights you'll see they dim slightly by law that's a legal requirement uh, and then put the indicator on and the same again over on the chrome one indicator on now when you turn the engine off 
and you exit the vehicle, the DR will stay on. So it can stay on for up to a couple of minutes. It just depends on the voltage in the battery. Uh, but they do go off just like a follow me home light, I think they call them. What do they call it? Coming home light. So that's it, that's the T5 2003, 2002, 2009 lights all fitted. Um, as you can see, even this turd of a van looks good. Now, unpopular opinion with lots, I'm sure, but stop fake lifting your vehicles, people. If people would fake lifted all the early bays to late bays, they wouldn't be worth the same money. In years to come, people will be looking for these and these will be worth more because they'll be the original look instead of a, a facelifted one. Uh, and now it's possible to make your early van look nice with some sexy lights. My opinion, many will disagree, but there we go. That's the way to make an early T5 van look modern, but still look kind of original. So as I said at the beginning of the video, um, it's just an idea of some videos we've got coming up. So today we've just taken delivery from PowerFlex of the adjuster deletes. So these are designed to work with B14s and there's also a version that's designed to work with most of the types of coilovers with the right dimension. We're going to be doing a video on Mikey's van to give you a an indication and some ideas on how to get your vehicle lower if you want to, the way that we'd do it, the professional way to do it, where needs cutting, where needs sleeving, uh, where we'd use the adjusted deletes. Um, we'll use Mikey's van as an example, but um, it, the same should apply for lots of other types of coilovers. Uh, so that's one video coming up. Uh, we, we also have a video coming on this awesome bit of kit. We'll go through that in some more details, but this was dropped off to us uh, earlier in the week. This is going in the back of the 6.1 storage system, becomes a combi bed, becomes a bulkhead. Really well engineered, looks like a great bit of kit, but we'll show you how to fit one and uh, show you how usable it is. We also have a quick and a short video coming on how you do sun strips, solo suspensions and strips, transport HQ sun strips, different depths. Mikey's gone for the, the deeper version, I've gone for the, the shallower depth one, but uh, fair, there's plenty of videos out there, but people have asked us whether we can do a quick video on how to install these, so that one will be coming up soon. And also we have a video coming up on soundproofing. We were in the process of stripping down and soundproofing and insulating the 6.1 with the Dodo mat range, um, but that uh, is partly done. But that's coming up soon. It's very, very nearly finished, but we're just waiting for uh, Blake to come back to finish carpet lining. But that's another video we're, we're going to be taking through the steps on how much, exactly how many sheets you use and exactly how many rolls of insulation we'd use, where we would insulate it. We've kind of gone all out on this one, so it'll just be a guide on what we think uh, you would need to use on your van. As always, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you're all keeping safe and we'll continue to keep trying to do some interesting videos while uh, people are in lockdown. Hopefully things will start to return to normal shortly as soon as things are safe and we'll start having customers back in and doing some fitting work. But in the meantime, um, keep watching our videos, like them. If you could share them, we'd appreciate that. Remember to subscribe and also kick, click the little bell next to the subscribe button to get notifications as and when we release any new videos. Any ideas or anything you want to see in a video, drop us an email, comment on the bottom of the video, anything we think we can do or anything we think you might be interested in or, or anything transport related, let us know and we will try and film it. Thanks for watching.